Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. Mwah. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is going to be another pick a card reading. Super excited to be here. This is going to be a love letter from your divine counterpart. Okay, this could be a twin flame. This could be a soulmate, um, a karmic, or it could just be someone you're in a relationship with. I don't want to limit it to just a divine counterpart, but I am going to focus on mainly um, your divine masculine and feminine soulmate energy twin flame. Okay, I also have channeled love letters. From your person so we can really tune into their feelings to see how they're really feeling okay perfect for those of you who are new to my channel welcome in you guys I am a psychic medium I read tarot intuitively I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards I am clairvoyant I am clairaudient I am a medium I do offer mediumship based readings I do connect with people who have passed away um, also pet mediumship I do offer that as well um, all my information is below in the description box my mediumship readings are priced differently so check that out I'll go ahead and link that below um, check out my Instagram for testimonials reviews I do pick a card readings on there um, I'm offering a giveaway that is going to end tonight so check that out and um, yeah just see I, I post manifestation tips or I post like little random you know tips in general so yeah if you're interested check me out so for those of you who would like to donate to my channel please do so check out my tarot wish list so I can bring new fresh decks to our pick of cards and um, for those of you I do want to say thank you so much for those who have donated so far especially Liz I want to give you a big shout out thank you for my deck it's beautiful it's gorgeous it's fantastic this is one of my favorites. It was on my wish list, so thank you. Also, I think you are one of my clients that we, you know, I've, I've delivered some readings to you, and you are such a gem. Seriously, you're an amazing energy, and I love having you as my personal client. And I, I really look forward to our next reading, okay? So, mwah, thank you. Now, um, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys hit that notification bell so you know my videos are uploaded. And yeah, I think that is it. I think I covered everything. If you have emailed me about a personal reading, you guys, and I have not responded, it's because I'm booked. So please give me some time um, in between and I'll get to it. Or if you want to just kind of gently, you know, introduce yourself on Instagram, let me know who you are and you've been, you know, messaging me. Um, but please like be aware of your energy that you bring because I am intuitive, I am psychic, I can feel your energy. So if it's really aggressive and there's like, yeah, you know, your energy introduces you. So yeah, let me know, you know, let me know who you are and, and let's build the connection so I can continue to read for you in, in the long term, okay? So let's go ahead and get the, the choices here for the decks. All right, I just wanna, Make sure I have a timestamp for you guys, okay? So pile one, okay, universal weight tarot. Pile two, crystal visions. And then pile three, the romantic tarot. I want you guys to take a deep breath. Think about your twin, think about your soulmate. And pick your deck. Okay, let's go ahead. So let's go ahead and get your love letter here for pile one. From your twin or your soulmate, your divine counterpart. Okay. Pile one. All right. Pile one. Let's go. Okay, so, you ready for this? Love, my mind has been clouded with thoughts about you. I discovered so much of myself during our separation. I need time to focus, oh, sorry, it's time to focus on a foundation for us. The song is Selfish by Genuine. 
your person. Your person is really focused on growing with you. Um, even if they're not, you know, we're, most of us are in separation, Palin. But this person in question is really thinking about you. I'm getting a vision. I'm getting a vision of a tiger. So you and your person have a strong, um, you guys have a strong uh, animal totem of a tiger. So you could be year of the tiger or they could be year of the tiger or it's just the symbolism. So look that up. There's a lot of power and strength between this connection, okay? So let's see what's going on with you and your person, okay? Pile one with the divine counterpart. Messages from the divine counterpart here. I feel um, in this pile, the divine feminine is... is you guys were the one who walked away. You're like, this is it. I'm not going to do this anymore. You walked away for your own empowerment, for your own um, inner growth, because your person, I keep hearing cycles. They kept cycling through the same mistakes over and over. They kept doing the same thing. This person was not changing. I feel like a lot of you guys took your power back, Divine Femme. But let's get an overall energy here. Your person, your person is holding on to their karmic still. So this is definitely, you guys are in separation, but this person is still thinking about you. I'm almost getting an energy that the last time you guys talked, I'm feeling that their heart really, like, it fell apart. This person could feel physically their heart really falling apart. But I am getting an energy here that this person did not let their ex go. They were continuously back and forth with their karmic. I'm hearing escapism. So... This person, when they met you, like all divine connections, it was like, whew, mind-blowing. I'm hearing mind-blowing. They saw you, and it was like, they couldn't believe, they, they just couldn't believe that they could, uh, like, attract someone like you. Like, like, I am getting an energy that your, your divine counterpart here really sees you in a, a very high light. Like, they put you on a pedestal. Maybe you guys have a difference. You know, what is the theme here for this energy here? For this divine counterpart journey. You guys have a difference in status. Or they just think that you are above them. Because they don't feel good about themselves. Okay? We're going to go ahead and separate the energies. But... So messages from your, your twin or your soulmate. What's going on here? Third party, third party all over this. Your person is not happy without you, okay? Um, there is a level of stagnation around communication. I feel like I am getting an energy that the divine feminine is really in their power in this pile. Like, I'm getting a strong energy surrounding your self-esteem, Divine Femme. And a lot of you guys have taken your power back. Whether you know it or not, I am going to use Nicole's deck. I will link her information below. Um, this has been a journey. Even if it was short-lived or even if it was long, there has been a lot of back and forth here. There's been a lot of, I'm sorry, can we try again? And then this person does whatever they do again. A cycle through their karma that they have not cleared. They haven't worked through it. Your person has a hard time. The divine masculine in this connection, okay, has a hard time with acknowledging the areas of their shadow work that they need to get done and cleared. 
seeing this shadow is a trigger for them. You are a trigger for them because my divine feminines, you guys have worked on what your divine masculine has not in this pile. How's a divine feminine feeling? Your person, um, they either have a small piercing in their ear, it's like a little diamond piercing, or they have in the past. They're big on facial jewelry. Your divine masculine has jewelry on, on their face somewhere. I'm getting a vision of someone with an ear piercing. But I feel like there's a lot of, um, they have a story to their piercings and their tattoos. Some of these people have tattoos. Um, I am getting a visual that this person is very creative. And despite outwards appearances, you guys, your divine masculine has a very sensitive, very kind heart in regards to love. When they love, this person likes to write poetry. This person is the type to really cling to their, their partners. And I don't think they've shown this side. This person has not shown this side. But energetically in the 5D, this person has literally been falling apart in the separation. And I feel like a part of this is because they're afraid to let go of their karmic partner. They know what you represent, Divine Feminine. They know where they stand with you. Because I'm getting like an anxiousness and a des desperation to come into union, to come back into your life. But they haven't been able to. Your person is definitely someone who doesn't have a strong center. They are easily swayed by the feminine that represents a mother to them because they did not have that nurture is what I'm getting. They did not have the proper care, okay? The divine masculine, um, whether they realize it or not, they are looking for a mother archetype in you, in their karmic, and until they start acknowledging this part of themselves, I feel it's going to be stagnant. However, their angels are really guiding them and they're really trying to get them to see where they have been their worst enemy, okay? This person is a strong Gemini. I just heard Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. This person may have a Venus in Libra is what I just heard, okay? Or a seventh house in Libra. I'm hearing your divine masculine say, you are my purpose. You bring me closer to my purpose. I feel for this pile in particular, this might definitely be a soulmate connection. I'm feeling more soulmate than twin, like a higher level soulmate. You guys mirror each other so much. The divine feminine here has a very um, high position in society. Like you guys have an education, there is like a very, you know, institutional background here. Like you guys have a career based job. And so your person is a creative person. So they're looking at you in admiration. They're looking at you like, how can you share your gifts with them? But they feel like they can't offer you the same. I keep getting a channeled message here that this person, they are easily easily manipulated by their karmic they're so bound to this karmic person so when they're with you they feel very strong they feel in their power you're you know you give them the strength that they don't have for themselves but this karmic comes around and it's like they they go back to square one because that's what they know that's what feels comfortable because being with you means they have to elevate themselves divine femme But they are in a place where they are seeking, you know, a foundation. They want to be more focused for you. They want to be more stable. 
Some of you guys were with this person when they really didn't have anything. I'm hearing they really didn't have anything. Like they may have in a, be, uh, excuse me, they may have been in a position where money was so tight. They may have been like couch surfing or they may have been in a position where they were depending on their karmic for a lot of the financial stability. Your person is very emotional, Scorpio, big Scorpio energy, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini with water in their chart, or Libra, Aquarius, but they feel so deeply. They just express it through um, poetry or music, okay? When you walked away, Divine Femme, we got Divine Femme here. I can't tell if this is all an illusion or real. The answer that I truly seek is within me and you trigger the shit out of me, right? In reverse. I need to watch my cursing, you guys. Um, the divine feminine in this connection, you up and walked away. And they, they have been in so much pain because of this. But you had to do what you had to do for your self-esteem, for your self-worth, okay? Now... You are avoiding divine feminine in this connection. I feel like you know what your divine masculine needs to work on. And you know that they need to release their karmic partner. You know, like you're waiting for them to get with it. Because this pile is no joke. Fire sign energy for my viewers. My divine femmes, you're fire. Or earth. You're no joke. And with the trigger in reverse... You guys are avoiding the trigger. You're avoiding what the mirror is because a lot of you cannot handle the intensity of how in pain you have been about this. So messages from your divine counterpart here. This, this double energy is right underneath that release your ex. Again, their karmic partner. So now that they're thinking about a foundation with you, they're ready. They're ready to start this process with you. They have released, or they're trying to release this toxic connection to this other person. I'm hearing, please don't leave me. Your, your divine counterpart is in distress. They're trying to really get their finances in for you. They want to be independent from this karmic situation. Your person has beautiful black hair. This is for who it's for. Your person has the most beautiful hair ever. They've been really thinking about this connection. Again, the whole time they've been in separation. They're thinking about you. They're thinking about the, the meaning of this connection. They're really in their thoughts and their soul. And I love that it's in the upright position because this means that they're taking the spiritual journey to really understand what you represent to them. This person may have a child. I'm getting a vision of a child. Um, they do have a very, very strong traditional value when it comes to family. They, they are very traditional in a lot of ways. Although they're creative, when it comes to their heart, when it comes to their soul, they want a union, like a committed union where they're a provider, where the Divine Masculine here wants to be the provider for their Divine Feminine. Messages from your Divine Counterpart. This person likes being by the water. They meditate by the water. I'm seeing long hair. I keep seeing braids, you guys. This person has braids. They like to braid. Or um, they just have long hair for that's who you know that's for who it's for they have a birthmark here or a tattoo here a tattoo somewhere that looks like a small birthmark maybe it's here you know I'm seeing it somewhere on their face messages from your divine counterpart I'm hearing they feel excluded but a big part of this is because they're working through where they have sabotaged themselves I'm hearing travel. This person wants to travel to you. The numbers 8 and 4 are significant here. So some of you guys have a birthday August 4th. Or this is also um, symbolic of the infinity symbol with the number 8. Number 4s are healers in numerology. Messages from your divine counterpart. 
what's going on in this connection. I'm hearing, I feel lost without you. Mm -hmm. This person, they know they separated from you. I'm sorry, they know that you separated from them and it was really painful. This person cried about you. This person was in a lot of agony about you. Um, what they have with their karmic partner is very physical. This person just lures them in with less. That's why they keep going back. What they have with you, Divine Feminine, is real. Look at this. Marriage. What did I say in this channeled message? They want a foundation with you. They are ready to seek this with you. So they're trying to do the work right now to go within to figure out how to come back with you know how to come back to you to make this work with you they are not being overly emotional about this they're trying to really hold in their emotions but this isn't over for them when your divine counterpart comes back you are going to be dating someone else and this is going to inspire and provoke an enormous amount of go get it energy they want this with you but right now they're really like blocked emotionally and they're trying to take on a more rational approach okay so let's get a little bit more let's see what the divine masculine is feeling here messages from the divine masculine this is the walu child i'm going to go ahead and link her youtube below where you can find her i do not know how to receive your energy teach me how to love you this person may have been closed off when you tried to give them your love they may have closed off from you and now they're regretting it I believe God made you my equal. They don't know that you guys are divine, divine counterparts or they don't believe in it. This person is trying to deny what they're feeling, especially with that Ace of Cups in reverse. They're denying. They can't, they, they can't fathom that they have half a soul out there and that it's you. But they know. They know because your person is very spiritual whether they accept it or not. If there was someone else, you would definitely know in reverse. Again, confirming their karmic partner. So they know I am planning something. It's on pause in reverse, okay? This is all happening in the fifth dimension. Your person needs a massive release of emotion. This person had a best friend or a father that recently passed away, or there is a memory of their best friend's death or their father's death, and it's really, it's, it's blocking them. They have had a negative relationship with people leaving them or abandonment issues that they're, they're triggered. It's like they're triggered when people leave them. So you leaving them really hit all those triggers for them psychologically. But it's not divine feminine. It is not your work to do their work for them. Your work, divine femme, is to heal yourself and your triggers because this person is triggering your sense of self-worth by not giving you the love that you're seeking. A lot of my divine feminines in this pile are very successful, very respectful and honorable in society. And you distract yourself through finances. This is how you do it. Okay. So that is your message. And I hope this resonates you guys. So yeah, going back, sorry, I, I didn't really touch base with that. Heal Divine Feminine any areas where you are numbing with work and not facing your own feelings of not feeling worthy of your Divine Masculine and meditate. Meditate, heal your heart center so you can heal your Divine Counterpart. Okay, now, Pile 2. All right, pile two, messages from your divine counterpart, your twin or your soulmate. Okay. 
Okay, this person is questioning everything. I'm hearing they're questioning everything right now. They are in a lot of, yeah. Emotionally, this person is going through a lot right now. Um, and I feel like this connection has brought them a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, and they are wondering what's going on. I feel like the divine feminine in this connection, again, has been really um, trying to control, maybe control this process a little bit by giving your love so abundantly and then feeling resentful when your person is not responding. I feel like your divine masculine for this pile has not been receptive to your love and has not given back to you, okay? So let's go ahead and get a channeled message, a love letter from your divine counterpart pile too. Okay, my love, I have to be honest, this separation hasn't been easy for me. I find myself wondering if I even deserve you. I have a secret and I'm afraid to tell you. Will you accept my love if I share it with you? And I think the song um, is How Could You by Mario, but someone please correct me if that's wrong. I literally just channeled it off the top of my head, so... Okay, your person has a secret, and I did feel a lot of that shadow energy. They are feeling really stressed out. They're feeling um, really torn about you and this connection. They're not really knowing what to do. They're questioning. They're questioning is what I'm hearing. The divine feminine in this connection is very frustrated because your person has literally like dug their their heels in the sand like they don't want to move they don't want to move it's like wow oof, your person is going through some hard stuff it's all in my heart center and I'm not talking about just stuff I'm talking about this person is slightly depressed or they have a psychological like um, health situation going on this person is in a lot of pain like I could feel it so it's not necessarily about you Okay, um, I think it's really very much about their journey right now. They're like, I'm having a vision of your divine masculine coated in like dark energy, like very dark energy. So they're sitting with this right now. They don't know what else to do. And I am getting a vision that the divine feminine is trying to pull them out of this quicksand. It's like quicksand. Like they're just letting themselves like get sucked in. And your DM does not right now they don't want to get out what's going on in this union pile two I'm hearing confrontation they're they're having to confront themselves their own shadow work limited beliefs limited faith your person is is not having faith in themselves in this union I feel like there's been a lot of arguing and healing that needs to get done and your person is is they love you they love you but they just don't know how to tell you everything I'm hearing they don't know how to tell you so with forgiving and learning you guys have definitely been going through a cycle of like hurting each other and then you know pulling back and there's been back I feel like the divine feminine in this situation has been chasing after their divine masculine because your divine masculine has been in such a dark place what's going on with the divine masculine here and I feel like there's been so many issues surrounding control it is blocking it is blocking this union because the more the divine feminine chases the more the divine masculine is digging themselves in this quicksand is what I'm getting, okay? There's a lack of self-esteem on both your ends, a lack of appreciation of your divinity as an individual. So this is going, going to be the major theme for you guys. Where is the divine masculine right now? Yeah, see, they're, they're waiting. They're pending. They're like... They're trying to um, really think about how much they've established here so far. But a lot of them are in... I'm hearing seclusion. 
it's like they purposely want to kind of um, distance themselves because you, they feel that they cannot do, they don't have power over you, Divine Feminine, and this is their strategy. This is a childhood reaction. They learned how to manipulate the feminine very young, so they may have been this way with their mother because they couldn't control their mother, so they would do things to manipulate the situation, and this is what they're doing with you, okay? So where is the divine mat? I'm sorry, the divine feminine. Give me a card. Yeah, you guys feel you guys feel betrayed. I'm hearing betrayed. Okay, there's been a lot of back and forth. This feels like almost like a relationship. Like you guys were connected. Um, maybe you guys shared some some vows. I'm hearing vows of loyalty. Um, this is a twin flame connection with the four of wands. You guys feel really, maybe you guys were living together almost, or you feel like you shared a home, whether outwardly or inside, and you guys are feeling really unbalanced, okay? Like you guys are not feeling good about your foundation with your divine masculine here. Um, with the world card, you guys are definitely ready for a new cycle. You've been meditating on what you're learning, divine feminine, okay? You're ready for some action. But your divine masculine is really hurting right now. Your your DM has some some secrets, and I feel like those secrets involve um, trauma, child abuse trauma. It may have been some kind of sexual abuse because this person. Um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting a vision of. A red orb when I said that and the orange orb and those are all representative of your sexual organs okay so your person definitely is healing through some sort of violation that they had during a, you know their childhood and they don't feel good like they feel really you know and so their reaction to when people are chasing after their love it almost feels violating to them and that is their secret for some of you for others it may be something else okay but I'm picking up it's something surrounding shame it's not even a third party per se here I feel like it's something surrounding shame of body shame of self so messages from your divine counterpart let's see I want you guys to really get into the 5D with this person. Start praying. Start meditating with this person. Um, in meditation, send them healing because they need it right now. Your divine counterpart needs it. Messages from your divine counterpart. Your person loves being by the beach. When they're sad, they go to the beach and they roll up their, their pant legs and they walk on the sand. Yeah, I feel like this person has a lot of issues surrounding their esteem, surrounding their, um, their intimacy, their ability to connect in, on an intimate level. There's a lot of shame, just like a lot of body shame as well. And I feel like they, the secret they've been holding back from you, they, they haven't really expressed this to you. I feel like outwardly there's been definitely a disconnection. They know that you're disconnected from each other with the Three of Pentacles. You guys may be in the same work environment or you have similar jobs is what I'm getting, okay? Um, I feel like this person may have had a divorce prior or they're coming out of a divorce of a third party and the Hierophant in reverse for some of you this may even be a sexuality thing they're a little confused about their sexuality or maybe they they're scared to tell you that maybe you know they're into the same sex um, for some especially with this unknown card they're see I'm telling you secrets the unknown um, but I also feel like this person um, definitely has some kind of, when they get really sad, oh my God, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. I don't want to get this dark, like I promise, because I get comments that are like, why are you so negative? And I'm like, listen, I'm channeling your person, so I don't know, like, 
I could I could literally sugarcoat it and be like, oh, you know, but my my strength and my emphasis when I do readings is shadow work. I'm going to be a therapist. So we get gnarly in there. Like we we're gonna unpack this. I'm not gonna just go to the surface with it. We're gonna go deep in there, okay? So I hope I'm not triggering anyone, but you know, my style is real. Like I'm just this is who I am. For some of you, your person's secret is that they have like kind of self-harming behaviors, okay? Self-harming, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Oh, wow, 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 wow. And they're even wondering if you're gonna accept them after you know. Wow, okay. Messages from your divine counterpart. Let's go a little bit more here. Oh, that was deep. Yeah, they feel stuck right now. They feel really stuck. They just feel paralyzed. Your person is is deep in their shadow work. They will come out of it. Um, I feel like they want to share themselves on a very intimate level with you. They're ready to tell you what's been going on in their world, okay? Divine Feminine, I feel like you're a Sagittarius. You're a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius. I'm getting Pisces as well. Cancer Scorpio. So I feel like you hate me in reverse. So again, this has been a very intense because my divine femmes, you've been giving, 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 giving to this person. And this person has not been able to give to you. They don't have vacancy to give. There's nothing to give right now because they are in a lot, a lot of their deep wounds right now. Their shadow work, okay? Divine Femme. Obviously, you guys are not happy because you're feeling like your person has not been reciprocating. Feels like when I push, you pull away. You see? They don't know how to accept your love, baby. And you guys are working on it. All you can do right now is meditate and send your person love, okay? So let's go ahead and see Divine Masculine. They're watching you on social media, even if they've been quiet. My dreams of you have been insane. You guys are connected in the 5D. They want to marry you. They know you're the one. They just need to get through this right now, okay? They need to get through this. So send them healing love, you guys. Meditate, meditate and think of them. Um, call in Archangel Raphael to really get that heart chakra going and Shemuel, okay? All right, I hope that resonated. Pile three. Okay, pile three of love letter from your divine counterpart. All right, let's see. Let's get a little channeled message first. Well, that last pile really tripped me out. I'm so sorry. I'm still kind of shaking. I'm shaking that energy off. That was a lot. That was heavy. Ooh. Okay. Pile three. Your person has really big dreams right now in terms of their finances. This person's very focused on their life purpose. I feel like um, they definitely have had a vision this person wanted to be a firefighter or they're on their way to be a firefighter there's something about being a firefighter maybe this was a childhood dream i'm seeing that they have been really focused on their evolution your divine masculine right now is definitely focused on their own inner work on their um evolution of self let's get the letter real quick we can agree to disagree this has been a roller coaster of emotion. I am ready to free myself from old behaviors. I am still finding myself. Be patient with me. The song is um, John Legend, All of Me. So again, their focus has shifted from this connection to their own life purpose. This person has self-esteem issues surrounding money, okay? Money, status. This comes from their father. I feel like um, the Divine Masculine had a father who was very hard on them about finances. And about getting their life together in terms of a relationship. 
Ooh, I'm hearing their father say, where there's money, there's power. So they had a very, um, I don't know, like a very masculine energy. You're dealing with a soulmate, okay? High level soulmate, could be twin, but I feel like this person is a soulmate. Um, take it as it resonates. Your person has really, really beautiful arms. They have like really big arms, big shoulders. They're very like fit. I'm hearing fit. And I'm seeing someone who's very tan, okay? They're very tan and they have beautiful skin. It glows. They have beautiful brown skin and it's very glowy. Your person, um, they are on a path of their own career of self-enlightenment as well. So they're focused on school education or this is just a focus on their own life purpose right now. But they're thinking about you, Divine Feminine. This person, your Divine Masculine, is thinking about you. They really miss you, the theme for Pile 3. They really miss you. They are in deep thought about you. And it hurts them to think about you because they know, they know that they put you through a lot, okay? This person did not behave nicely. I feel like this person was a little bit childish with you because they didn't know what to make of this intensity. And I feel like they disconnected before you guys could even give your relationship a chance. So, Divine Femme. Yeah, you guys disconnected and you're still in, in separation. Your person has purposely like blocked their energy from you. And I know my divine feminines have been trying to tap in. You're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, strong cap energy here. But they, they don't want to feel you right now, even though they can't help it. They feel you in the 5D, in the dreams. I'm trying to heal my old wounds. Divine feminine is healing their old wounds and the answer is within... A lot of my divine feminines in this pile, you have disconnected yourself to find your self-worth. Your person pushed you to it. I'm getting that the last conversation you had, this person was a little bit mean. Like, they were mean. They were like... Or they said something that made you feel like you weren't good enough for them. This person likes to have the, the higher, like... They like to be in control and in power over you. So if you express your love, they're the type to block it and be like, what are you talking about? Why? Because they don't believe that they deserve you. Because they don't have their money right. And that means more to them. So just so you know, if you end up in union with your person, um, money means a lot to them. Financial status means a lot to them. And... They're going to give gifts ver versus verbal affirmation. This is learned behavior from childhood, okay? Outwardly, they, they're they acting like everything's fine, like everything's okay. They don't care. They're good. Everything's fine with them. But inside, this person has been thinking about you so much. Um, for work right now, while they're in school or they're getting their education, they're like a delivery person or they're delivering something is what I'm getting. Messages from your divine counterpart. So they think about you a lot in between delivery or they drive around. Um, they're a Lyft driver, an Uber driver. I don't know. Something involving driving. They love hearing from you, but they have issues with reaching out. What did I say? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay? Strong earth energy right here. This person is healing. The three of swords in reverse. Okay? So again, I feel like this person feels like, you know, I'm almost getting an energy that they disconnected from you. They're purposely a little bit mean when you gave them love to push you away. But it hurts them. It hurts them because they watch you and they want to be with you. But they're also really worried about a third party here. Okay? They're worried about a third party. Some of you guys may have someone else who's interested in you. And that's why they pulled away. Because they feel like they're not the only one. But that's their own shadow work. I feel like the divine feminine in this connection, you guys gave more than enough. 
but there may be a third party, an ex that you guys have, Divine Femme, and that is still lingering and they're worried. They're worried about this other person or you may still be married. Take it as it resonates. With the Eight of Cups in reverse, they have pretended like they've taken on several lovers, but they're still thinking about you. They talk about you to their friends. Okay? With this Ten of Pentacles messages from your divine counterpart, they definitely think about you long term. They want a family. They want a legacy with you. They see it all with you. And they think you're really beautiful. Like, they're going to be very traditional. They're going to want to fix your dress for the Divine Femme. They're going to want to fix you up. They want to be the provider. Okay, this is why they're separated right now. And I am seeing this is uh, the Emperor. They Again, they want, this is your Divine Masculine. They want complete control. Oh my God, absolutely. The Hierophant, marriage, tradition. Your person is very, very traditional. But they're thinking about how to get it together so they can come back and impress you. They want to impress you. So messages from the Divine Masculine, that was the collective energy. Oh my God, they think that you are the perfect, perfect partner. The Empress and the High Priestess. You guys are smart, beautiful, sexy. Um, some of you guys definitely are psychics, healers um, in the world of the spirituality. They literally want you to be the mother of their children. The Divine Feminine. It's like intuitively, Divine Femme, you know this isn't the time for union, okay? Especially with that letter, with that separation. You guys have been through a lot. Or you have emotionally felt so strongly about this person, it's overwhelming. The Divine Feminine is holding in their emotions. You're trying to like not let it show because your person did not react nicely when you did, okay? So messages from the Divine Masculine again. Let's see. I am not sure what they want in reverse. They do know now. They know. But I feel like this person is waiting to offer you something. Pray for me. They're trying to get grounded. They're trying to find their self-worth outside of just money, okay? The player lifestyle is not for me. Again, not only is it that money is blocking them, but it's also you have someone who's interested in you that they know about. And this is really messing with their psyche. They don't want to get hurt. Your person is very sensitive. They listen to a lot of like R&B. And your person listens to like, like, love songs and they really think about you but they're afraid to get hurt and cheated on i'm hearing it's me or them so i feel like they're going to come in with an ultimatum some of you guys are married and some of you guys are or you have someone else who's trying to come into the picture and they know you and this person have a connection and they're going to ask you to make a choice so that's currently the energy um, that I have going on for the divine counterpart. So the best advice for this connection is to allow yourself to heal your heart center. Let me get a card for the advice. They're starting to realize that they really want to be with you, you guys. They really are. Your, um, your advice is to focus on yourself. Your coin, secure yourself financially, emotionally, be independent mind over heart right now okay and then just really focus on on healing and taking on a new perspective this pile the divine feminine needs a complete cleanse of what their masculine should be like there is too many um outdated beliefs about your relationship that is blocking your union so work on your crown chakra divine femme okay Mwah. thank you so much you guys comment below let me know if it resonates talk soon bye